Hey guys, this is a song that I like called Heading South by Zach Bryan, and I hope you like it too. There was a boy who was a dreamer, and he flew so high and proud. In a world full of people out to cut his young ass down. No I feel like less of an authentic person single word than I was say. two years ago. And they cast him to the wolves when he wasn't well and fair. Ladies and gentlemen, the total solar eclipse is happening in less than an hour. Once we've got a riser, riser in our mix. He will get the last laugh. I gotta get glasses. I gotta get like the eclipse glasses. Okay guys, how crazy it is? How crazy is it that I just happened to be in like the best spot on earth for viewing the eclipse? I'm in Texas, which is the spot. Like, people are flying from across the country, like scientists, people, anyone. People are just flying in just to see it. And I just, I'm already here. Like, I'm just gonna go to school and get glasses for free. Isn't this crazy? I'm actually so excited. I've been thinking about eclipses since I was a little kid. Like, I've always been like, oh, I wanna see that. Basically, if you don't know what that is, the sun is like here, and earth is like here, on earth, and in the middle, the moon. So the moon completely covers the sun. So it's just like, the sun is this little ring of light around the moon and it goes completely dark as if it's nighttime for three minutes in the middle of the day in like an hour not even an hour it's gonna happen and i'm gonna film it it's gonna be freaking crazy oh my god i'm at school i see like a big giant balloon arch like an archway made of balloons so i'm assuming here i'm assuming it's for the eclipse because my school's been hyping up the eclipse so hard And that boy he called his daddy to tell him what he did. It's a massive screen, the lyrics of a messed up kid. Then he told that old man he was never coming back. To be cut down again in a town like that. Hi. What's up guys? I look you have a cold. Uh, I also got a haircut. This is the first time in my life that I've gotten a fade. And I'm not really proud of it. I'm really not. I don't like it that much. Like it's fine, but I, I think it was just an experiment and nothing more and it'll never happen again. So let me know your thoughts. Love it, hate it. Like the old way better. I like the old way better. I don't know, I just be experimenting. I just be messing about. Anyways, uh, my friends are about to pick me up. I'm gonna go like, chill and then get a sweet treat so i'm gonna i'm gonna go do that i'm feeling so man this is getting repetitive if you guys have been keeping up with the videos the past six months i've been saying the same thing over and over and over i say i've been feeling so unproductive and then i sit there i post that video and don't do anything else towards like achieving what i want to achieve in my life and then i wonder why i still feel unproductive like uh what is the saying that's like um Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. I'm just, I'm literally crazy. That's the thing. Crazy. I'm freaking crazy. I look, you got a stuffy nose. I took some drugs, like, you know, like an Advil to try to feel better. And it helped. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm going to throw up anymore. But okay, after I said that, now I feel like I have to throw up. Anyways, I'm gonna make my friends pick me up and throw up on them. Check that out. That looks so sick. Just a tiny speck in the sky. The moon is covering the sun slowly. Oh my god. I think it's almost totality. Look at this. I wish I could get a better video. This is local stuff. It's also just like less dark right now. The light is so much dimmer than it was like 10 minutes ago. That's about to go full dark. Oh, this looks so sick. Where did it go? Guys, I can't see it. I can't see it anymore. I'm like, uh, did I just accidentally look at it so my eyes aren't working? I think it went behind the cloud. So you can't see it. Look, these are the these are the phases. We're waiting for this one. No way it went behind the clouds, like now of all time. The lighting outside, it looks like it's evening right now. Why is it so dark? 
It's like a little tiny hair of sun. So crazy. We're definitely right here now. This one. We're about to be in the center, but right now we're here. Look at these clouds covering the sun. I swear, if these clouds don't move in time for the eclipse, we're all gonna be mad. Oh my god. It's happening right, right as we speak. Look how dark it is. Tell me it doesn't look like it's dusk. Dusk time. It looks like it's the middle of the night. No way. Is the sun setting? Hang on. I haven't gone outside here since like... It's actually been so long since I came up on the roof. <coughs> but I think the sun's setting. In the summer, the sunsets are just like completely no... Bro. I can tell this one's gonna be so insane. Like it's it's still like starting right now, but I can tell it's just gonna be nuts. <sighs> oh no, I think my neighbors are in their backyard. They gotta see me up here. Excuse me, why are you on the roof? It's dangerous. Oh my god, there's a small baby child toddler. Oh my god, do you hear it crying? I just said it. It's gonna see me. I'm gonna be a bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> Drive by. Yes, I gotta open, I gotta this dude, lame as hell. What is, what is this hoodie, bro? What is this hoodie? I gotta do the back. What is this hoodie? Bro, stop looking at my hoodie, bro. You like my shoes? You like my shoes? What is this? What yellow, bro? Shut the fuck up. What's your hoodie? Damn, mid ass fit. Bro. Look, at, look at the shirt you wear every day. Shut up, bro. Hey, I haven't worn it in like a month. Hey. Oh, there's more? No, there's hella more. Nasty ass. Nasty. Yes, bro. Oh, we broke out of the closet in this car. It's literally nighttime. It got covered by the clouds. Like, we can't even see the sun. <laughs> Guys, it's 1 p.m. 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm gonna lay down. I just want to see the, like, circle of light around it. That'd be so cool. It looks like the sun is setting, but it's 1 p.m. This is actually so wild. I have bad news. The clouds covered it for from 140 to 144. That was that was the period where it was completely covered. So we didn't even get to see the ring of light. But it's fine. It still went dark. Oh shoot! Wait! The light's coming back. Can you see it? I'll just keep my camera on. Watch the light come back. Bro, get the legacy. We need to see the sunset. Give me the craziest sunset. We caught the end of it. There we go. I'm sitting in the car. I'm feeling sick. They're all standing outside. They're at like the car wash at this gas station taking pictures. Like, I'm looking confused. What is going on? I'm so tired, bro. I just want to go home and sleep. I don't regret coming out to hang out tonight, but sometimes when I'm out with my friends, I'm just like not into it, you know? Like, I feel kind of detached. Like, I don't know, man. Part of me thinks that all goes back to me not feeling productive these days and feeling like I need to be accomplishing more and doing more for my future. And it's like I say this, you guys have heard me say it, and then I go back to not doing anything. And so when I'm out with my friends, sometimes I think I... His police radar is going off because some cop has their speed gun out. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? You guys have heard me talk about how I, I've been feeling like demotivated, not productive, not like I'm working towards anything good. And then I just go back to not doing anything. And so when I'm not doing anything, like tonight, when I'm just out with my friends having a nice time, it's like, I think sometimes I get, I pull away for a second and I'm like, man, what am I doing? You know, you guys ever have that? Or is that just me? I don't know. There's literally like 10 guys, 10 of my friends outside. And I'm sitting in the back seat of this car. That's why I set up the camera. I think deep down, subconsciously, I set up the camera because I knew why I was feeling like this. And I just figured it out when I was talking to you guys just now. That that's why I sound sick right now. I sound hella nasally. Yeah, okay, that's all. It's just frustrating. I need to get back out there. I really need to, like, 
put my foot down, sink my teeth into it, and work. That's all there is to it. I haven't been, like, I haven't been focused. I gotta, like, just make videos. I gotta get back on my, like, schedule. You know what? I, in my prime of, like, content creation, right? I was sitting there. I had seven sticky notes on the wall, Sunday through Saturday. And it was, like, each day I have to write this, edit this, write this, edit this, film this, script this, right? Every day I was posting four TikTok slash reels a, a week and one YouTube video. Like, if I could get back to that consistently for a few months, the growth will come back. Like, the growth isn't there right now because I just haven't posted. But I know I could come back. Like, it's not hard. It's just about, like, focusing and really putting your mind to it. I bought Arnold Schwarzenegger's book. It was called Be Useful, which is what his dad would tell him when he was a kid. His dad would always tell him, be useful, be useful. His dad was, like, super strict, alcoholic, like, not a great dad, but he always said, be useful. And, like, I I heard, read about it in the book and heard about it in his documentary. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's, like, that kind of stuck with me throughout my life, throughout my career of going from, like, best bodybuilder in the world to then becoming the, one of the top actors in Hollywood to becoming governor of California. Like, through all of that, he told himself, be useful. Useful. And it helped him like stay on track. Like if he's what he's doing isn't useful, however you define useful, then he wouldn't be doing it. And that's how he was so successful. And that's how I want to be. I got to finish that book. I haven't finished it. I read like the first third of it and then kind of forgot about it. Once in a lifetime opportunity. This is never happening to me again, most likely. Unless I like travel to Africa in 25 years to see that one. But this just made me feel really small. Like looking up and like seeing the curve of the moon covering the sun. It just made me feel like everything's so big, except me. I'm just a little tiny guy not doing anything important. That is my plan to continue tracing my goals and trying not to let life get in the way of them. That's my biggest fear is just not having my goals accomplished and growing old and growing, accepting, satisfied with where I'm at and what I've done with my life. So I'm hoping that this will help me get back on track to accomplish everything I ever wanted. I think the sun's setting. I'm going to Gonna head out there and sign off. There's a guy running. See, I was editing this video this morning and I was watching back the bit where I was just talking about the eclipse and how it was like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And the more I thought about it, like everything is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, like so many things that we take for granted are once in a lifetime opportunity. I got to see the great Southern American solar eclipse, right? There's once in a lifetime opportunity. And I was like, oh, this is such a big deal. But the thing is, everything is a big deal like that. My YouTube channel, the traction I've gotten in the past on my videos and like just the amount of things that had to take place and be situated perfectly in the universe for me to be in the position I am in today are just, there's so many, right? I have this opportunity here that I haven't been taking advantage of. Like I'm so lucky, so fortunate to be in the position I am and I've just been slacking away. So that's what my little plan on my wall is. It's me trying to hopefully take advantage of that, of my fortunate situation and really, really try to get back to how I was where I was really consistent with the videos I was putting out. I just, I was so proud of myself back then. And these days I don't feel proud of myself. I just wanna feel proud of myself again. So it's not a promise. What I put on the wall isn't set in stone exactly how it's gonna go down, but it's a, it's a bit of a, some guidelines for me to give myself deadlines, give myself guidelines, give myself just a framework for how I'm supposed to keep my life in order, keep myself moving forward, keep myself progressing, you know? And I think that's enough for right now. So if you watch this far, I appreciate you so, so much. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. I love you. Good night.